The Law of Diligence and Faithfulness, Apostle Michael Arakpo. Apostle Michael Arakpo, known for his profound teachings on spiritual maturity and the believer's walk, speaks often about principles like diligence and faithfulness. He emphasizes that these attributes are essential for spiritual growth, alignment with God's purposes, and success in life and ministry. Here are some key points that Arakpo might cover regarding the law of diligence and faithfulness. The second law is the law of diligence. It says, seest thou a man diligent in his business, he will stand before kings and not men. men. There is something diligence does. He moves you to high places and he gives you a place there. Many persons are hoping to be impactful and because they have prayed, they have done some prophesying, they think it finishes there. And so God wants to test them and God gives them a small assignment. They can't do it well. Tell somebody, please wash this handkerchief. It doesn't take 10 minutes to wash. He will wash this handkerchief when you see it. It will be more dirty after being washed than it was before it was washed. Now that is the person who is saying they will change the economy of Nigeria. Do you know how many billion digits you have to deal with in handling the economy? Tell the person, lock this door every day this week. The person in charge of church is not around. You will not be sleeping. The Holy Ghost will have to wake you up by 1 a.m. to call that person. And you will call. Is the church locked? He will say yes. If you don't hear God where to come back, you will come the next day and discover that the door is open. And then he will kneel down and start apologizing. And say, please, I'm sorry. The question is, you will be forgiven, but you will not go far. Because God will not commit anything to your hand. God does not have problem forgiving people. God will always forgive when you ask. But you see, kingdom is not for everybody. It's for those who can handle it. He said, do not give holy things to swines. They will trample it. They will destroy it because they have no value for it. Somebody is in school reading uh, sociology. He's reading sociology and result comes out. The best grade he has, which is two, is D. The rest is F. The whole lecture note for the semester is 10 pages. The whole lecture note is 10 pages. 10. And then he's doing six courses. So the whole lecture note put together is 60 pages. He has four months to study. But he cannot make one B in sociology. And then you ask him, he say, the world is waiting for us. We are the overcomers. <laughs> Doesn't it surprise you that those who do the hardest things are always better than those who do the simplest things? You'll find somebody else studying medicine. Only his anatomy textbook is more than all the lecture notes the sociology student has used in the university. That's anatomy for 300 level. Only the textbook for one course in 300 level is more than all the lecture notes that the sociology student has done. But the sociology guy is saying, school is not easy. Oh. He will now, because there's nobody to talk to, he will now go to the village where nobody has gone to the university before. I say, have you seen the four walls of the university? Ah, when you get there, we read in the night. You read, you. It looks funny, but that's why we are where we are. Somebody said Christians remove their minds and throw away. Very simple things. And God is just watching. Is this the person telling me to give him South Africa? Is this the person telling me to give him Canada? Is this the person telling me to give him the UK? Do you know how many souls are there? Do you know how many destinies are there? can never appear before kings until you are diligent. 
there is a level you can never get to until you are diligent. What is diligence? Diligence is hard work and smart work put together. There is a part of it that will task your abilities, task your energy, put you under pressure. You must learn how to survive pressure. Many people want greatness, but they don't know greatness are for those who bear pressure. If you break under pressure, you can never make impact. And so you must learn how to manage pressure by working hard. And then for you to also lead, you must be smarter. So you don't just work hard, you work smartly. That means you are working with strategies. You are working, thinking the best ways to execute it. So that when time comes, the law of justice will not be bent for you to be chosen. You think God will put you in charge of the airline so that every one month, three plane crash and then prophets and kings will die because you are in charge of the airline. God will manage you in poverty with the prophecies until a child in your lineage arises that qualifies to receive that prophecy. Meanwhile, you are the one working with time. It's called ancient of days. What he told you can be very vital for your great-grandchildren. And he will wait for the one who will match it. And he will put it on him. And as far as he's concerned, he's talking to David. Because everybody in your bloodline is David. It is the David that qualifies that will enter the prophecy. So you will pass, another will pass, another will pass. Maybe it's the, the eighth generation he will find one. All the prayers you people are praying, God will gather it. He said the prayers of the saints, they ascend to heaven as others. They are stored in golden vials. When the time comes and somebody on earth qualifies, he will now remember the prayer. He will pour down the answer. That's why you'll find somebody else who is just diligent, walking. He doesn't know what prophecies were spoken, but he's going home. And then an angel appears to him and begins to tell him, I have raised you as a prophet to the nations. And he's wondering, what did I do? You didn't do anything. People prayed for three generations, but you are the one who qualified. For you to be impactful, please, the little things God commits to your hand, take them serious. Take them serious. Because God is watching to see the sensitive things you can handle. And so those things will fast track the manifestation of your prophecy. Diligence. Number three, faithfulness. Faithfulness is a bit different from diligence. Why diligence has to do with ability to withstand pressure, working hard and working smartly. Faithfulness is more about values, ethics and character. God is seeing, are you dependable, are you loyal? Somebody can be competent and have the energy to do the work, but his heart is evil. So if you give him something, he can easily betray. So he has the requisite, you know, credentials in the physical, but in the heart, those credentials are not there. And so God sees that this guy is not reliable. You see him laboring somewhere, you think he's part of the team, he's a lie. He's an absolute. He's walking apart from the team. He's just using the labor of everybody to stand out. So that the moment he gains the ventilation, he will escape. And so God sees that person and says, no, this person can't be trusted. And because you can't be trusted, God will look for a way to keep you relevant. But you cannot rule your generation. Because when you become, your heart will rub off on everybody that follows you. And so God will not take the risk of putting you in charge in order to corrupt a generation. So he will help you to be relevant at least to fulfill your life and destiny. But you cannot handle certain things in the kingdom. Because if you do, when you speak, when you direct, when you lead, you will create a generation after your rebellion, after your corrupt tendencies. And so your life will mar the possibilities of others. And so because God sees that, he will not do it. That's why the Bible speaking in Luke chapter 16, verse 10 and 12, he says, if you are not faithful in another man's business, he said, who will give you your own? That's God asking, who will give you? That means you can only receive your own if you are faithful in another man's. And he said, if you are not faithful in little, who will give you much? So your promotion is at the mercy of your faithfulness. 
Your promotion is at the mercy of your loyalty. If you pray and you are not faithful, if you pray and you are not pure at heart, that prayer will be answered, but the prayer will wait for the day your heart is refined for God to release something on you. Apostle Arakpo's law of diligence and faithfulness calls believers to a life of disciplined pursuit of God and unwavering commitment in every responsibility. Through this, he teaches, believers align themselves with God's will, unlock spiritual treasures, and prepare for greater levels of divine assignment and blessing.